What's happening, guys? Gonna fire up our 79 Kawasaki KZ1000. Warm her up, take it for a rip. Castine actually tuned this one, the Manic Mechanic. Went through the carbs, micro drilled the pilots. It's got a Vance and Hines 4 to 1 exhaust. The original paint stock with triple disc brakes. The KZ1000 model came with a heavier crankshaft than the KZ900. Basically, had less vibration. Um, faster accelerating, uh, larger bore. A year after this, Cowie went to fuel injection with the limited KZ-1000H. <laughs> Nothing beats a classic KZ when they're tuned properly. <laughs> this one's in order, guys. It runs amazing. Engine's super quiet. It's a hallmark of a well-tuned bike. A nice low idle. When you can hold it at 3,000 RPMs and no pops or backfires. Oftentimes when the pilot jets get clogged with pump fuel, uh, you can tell by it. holding the revs up and seeing if the bike starts missing. Jeff went through the brakes as well. The bike runs really strong. This is actually quite confidence inspiring. The frames on these bikes were basically the same um, for a 30 year stretch. The geometry, the wheelbase. feels phenomenal guys brakes are on point transmission feels like a brand new bike actually factory equipment of course but the one down four up transmission five speed twin cam This is a bike that you could actually take for a thousand mile trip on a, uh, on a Sunday. Dual overhead cam bikes, the Japanese electronics, the charging systems. It, this is a bike that, that now that it's dialed in, I wouldn't be afraid to take it on a long trip and get stranded. And uh, not only that, but going down the highway, the triple disc brakes, you know, they've been gone through. If the bike stops on a dime, it, it feels, as Senior would say, if he was here, he would say it feels right as rain. Everything works on it. Just gonna turn it around here. I'll read the work order to you. Factory advertised 90 horsepower, but I wonder what it would be putting down now opened up with the filters here and the four and one exhaust jetted for this kit runs amazing i'd like to think it'd be closer to 100 horse first and foremost in the service shop jeff cleaned and tuned the carburetors micro drilled the pilot jets cleaned the k&n filters and added vp 110 fuel it's ethanol free jeff removed the intake manifolds and replaced the gaskets uh, he installed the new valve cover gasket and adjusted the valve shims installed new spark plugs and replaced the tachometer cable, cleaned and flushed the gas tank, installed a new Pingle Peacock and new fuel lines, a uh, new UASA battery, the charge rate was 14.5 volts, it's charging perfect. Installed new 630 gold drivetrain, thing looks sweet, especially with this tin set, I really dig it. This thing's fucking awesome, guys. This bike previously had a better fairing on it, so we removed that and put a new headlight on it and uh, put factory turn signals back on the bike. 
then Jeff installed some new grips, which are uh, reproductions of the original Kawasaki grips, reminiscent of the uh, early Z1s. I, I, I really like these grips, and this is how you know you're riding a classic 70s Kawasaki 4. Jeff cleaned and honed the rear brake caliper, bled it with new brake fluid, and he changed the engine oil and filter with Maxima 1040. And there's his uh, John Hancock right there. Jeff's a phenomenal wrench, and uh, he's been turning out some, some really excellent running motorcycles for us here in the shop. Bit high, bit often. This is going to go quickly. I guarantee it. Message your zip for a shipping quote.